Hi guys. Hello, Mary Meet here. It's Michelle Marie Tony. Today we're going to talk about something um, about uh, like multimedia that uh, Jay did on his channel. I'm talking about what does 2020 going to bring for him. I'm going to be honest when I don't want to talk about some of the things that I wanted to cover on my channel. And I'm going to do some ranting too. So let's start with the most basic things. We all know that my channel is changing directions. We already know that I've been working more on focusing on the gaming. The gaming, like World of Warcraft. Some people have said that World of Warcraft is boring because it's kind of slow and it doesn't have a lot of action. It's not like Grand Theft Auto War where you're basically dodging bullets and stealing cars and running over old ladies and the cats or whatever. Or um, tell them... Or um, Fortnite and all that. It's a very slow MMORPG. Which for me is about as fast as I like to go. But I wanted to talk about is something about some things that have been brought to my attention by an individual. Um, that I will just say we don't agree eye to eye on a lot of things. Uh, in some things. Um... And one of them is for faith systems. Now, I don't have anything wrong if you believe in the flying spaghetti monster, which there actually is a church for that, by the way. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But when you go out there and you start saying to me that my faith system is wrong and that yours is the real faith system, sorry, that's when it's, that's when I, that's when the hackles go up because I don't think. That's fear. You can't say, honestly, can you, that my faith system is any more wrong than yours is? How can you say that? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? My faith system is something that I believe in. It's something that is a core part of who I am. It's, it's what I've always been. Okay? So when I believe in what I do, it's because it's important to me. It's instinctual. And if I believe in the traditional Roman Catholicism, traditional faith system with just a little bit of Wiccan and Gaian in here, and you know, and, and shaken and not stirred, and that happens to be something that I believe in, that's fine. That's my faith. That's what I believe. And that's the way it's going to be. Okay? It's just like with my channel. My channel is eclectic too. There's nothing on my channel that's necessarily textbook. This ain't no textbook channel. Uh, which is good because if you look at all the Me Too channels out there, and I don't mean Me Too as in the movement, hash Me Too, but I mean in the sense that they all have the same general floral, they have the same general format, they all have the same general topics. You know, and that's great, especially if you look at the World of Warcraft channels, it's the same thing, right? We're going to talk about this race, what it means if you're this race, why do you choose this race over this race, why do you choose this class over this class, what is, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Okay, like I said, I play a, I play a holy priestess. Um, three of my characters are holy priestesses. One of my characters is a mage, and now I'm... For the purpose of the uh, tutorial, I chose to select a Draenei Palladian. A Paladin. Uh, it sounds like a really strange combination, but anyway, that's another story, okay? The point was that was for the, for the tutorial. Yes, I still have the character. The whole point I'm trying to get at is we all have our own face systems, and we all have our own way we do things, and that's fine. There's no... Buddy, who can straight, I, I mean, nobody on this earth, nobody on this earth strictly can say, you're right, yeah, I'm wrong, or I'm wrong, and you're right. You think you do, but you don't. You know what, I, that, I know we all tuned in to the guy from BlizzCon, but this applies to you talking about faces. You think you do, but you don't. Every time you talk about God, you think you do, but you don't. No, you don't know God. I don't even know if I can explain God. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Please stop telling me. You think you do, but you don't. Of course I do. 
But one of the things that God says is do not judge or you will be judged by the same reason would you judge another person. Why are you telling me that my faith system is wrong when my faith system is what I've been doing and believing for the past 51 years? Damn on. This, this doesn't make any sense. You want to sit there and tell me that my faith system is wrong? And your faith system is... Your faith system works for you. That's great. Have Believe in whatever you want. You want to believe in the flying spaghetti monster? Believe in the flying spaghetti monster. I don't think that's for anything wrong with that. And don't try to tell me that I need to have to have a silver colander on my skull. Tell me that my faith system is wrong because uh, you can't use a... Uh, uh, pasta fork and ring my skull with it. Come on, give me a break. It's not in anybody's way for anybody to try to tell somebody <clears throat> that their faith system is wrong. It's not even up to, it's not even up to discussion. It's just the kind of bullshit that pisses me off to no end. Every time I hear about this, your faith system is garbage. My faith system is my faith system. It is what I believe in. It is what I have understood. It has developed over 51 years of my life. It is a part of me. It is who I am. It is what I believe down to my core is so. And it's what it's the it's the way I. It's the way I work my life. For me, it works. It may not work for you. That's fine. Don't worry about my faith system. Worry about what you believe in. Focus on your faith. If you like what I've got to see and you enjoy reading about it and hearing about it, that's fine. Welcome. But if you don't have anything constructive to say about it, then... You can go find your own path. It's fine. No one's going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. But because faith is an individual thing. There's no two people that have the same church. Okay, I'm Roman Catholic. I was, I'm a Reformed Catholic. My family originally was Lutheran. I'm a Reformed Catholic. Okay, now you're telling me that I'm wrong? Because I left the Lutheran Church in 8th grade and explained to the pastor very nicely why I was leaving. I explained to him the reason why I did not see a logic in some of the logic that they're teaching. That's, that was what I taught him. I, he agreed with me that my answers was just as valid as are his valid in his answers in the Lutheran, Lutheran Catechism. No, that's, that's, that's fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But to sit there and say to people, oh, you know what, your faith system is bogus, is totally incorrect. It is not. All right? <sighs> oh, glad to get it off my chest. You can just take it with a grain of salt, but that's what I feel. All right? Um, now, another thing we're going to cover is what's the channel going? Well, the channel clearly has changed. Uh, it's changing its directions. It's going a completely different direction now. <laughs> Ain't that obvious? The channel's changing. Everything's changing. We're coming into 2020. Things are changing. The weather's changing. You see a lot of snow outside? Okay. In the middle of the United States, East Coast, West Coast. Yes. Crowd craft failures, left and right, across the world. Yes, it's changing. Everything's changing. Nothing is static. If you want homostasis, you ain't got it. <laughs> it's just not going to stay homostatic. It's going to change. The whole universe changes. Right? Um, so yes, likewise, I have to accept the fact that my channel is going to have to change or it's going to die. It's a fact. Um, we tried a lot of different... Genres, but you know, here's something that Multimedia J said. I kind of agree with him on this. Where is YouTube going? YouTube is dying. YouTube is circulating the drain. What they created doing the new terms of service in 2020, which goes to victim December 10th, means uh, we here in black and white are giving us the tools to rip 
You out by the roots like crabgrass is a weed. Oh, but well, guess what? It's more like ripping out your own teeth, YouTube. Oh, it doesn't matter. They just give themselves the right to grab, grab their own pliers and do it to themselves. But the YouTube is dying. A platform is dying. It's not going to make it. No, there we go. It's my face system. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my face system. That's my faith. YouTube, based on statistical facts and policies, is dying out. It is becoming another MySpace. It is becoming another washed up, has been platform. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to give up on my channel doing the content I love, I believe in. And if you don't like it, well, and I mean, if, if, well, obviously, if you do like it, you will keep subscribing. I know you will. And if you do not like what I'm trying to do, well, then obviously, you would never want to subscribe anyway. Hmm. Huh. Think about that. If you didn't like the content, you're not likely subscribing. Oh, or you're probably not watching the video. That's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously, if you liked the content, you would have watched the video. Then I know I'm reaching to the right audience that cares enough that they want to learn something, they want to enjoy something. If you don't like the content, you're not going to watch this video. So I can bet the one view I see that watched the video for 10, 25, 30 minutes, those guys are the ones, guys and gals are the ones that are going to watch the video and actually like what I got to say. And if you're one of them, congratulations. Thank you. Thumbs up. But if you're not, well, that's okay. You know, you know, it's, 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 it's my opinion. It's just like my face system. It works for me. I can go to sleep at night. I can think of what the next day's events at hand, and I can focus on the things I need to cover. Now, uh, we still do our live streams on uh, Saturday. We're going to continue to do those. Why not? It's one day a week. It's not really a big deal. Just one day a week, two hours a day, average. And uh, usually that's more than fine. And considering the fact is our audience has slowly been emigrating off of YouTube and leaving and going to Facebook and to um, Daily Motion. There are actually people who are leaving YouTube and going to Daily Motion and BitChute and Vimeo and other platforms, DTube. Whatever. Because the reasons I already told you. YouTube has done everything it could to destroy the small guy. So the small guys are rightfully are um, diversifying into alternative platforms. We have to. So if you obviously love my content, then you already know that I'm there for you. And I would be more than honored to have you as part of my platform. But if you don't like my content, then obviously, you know, I don't know why you're here. But, uh, hell, you know, that's, that's, that's you. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that uh, because of the, um, the situations with YouTube, we have seen a lot of things uh, with this content change. And how it's affecting YouTube. But uh, it, as far as my channel goes... This is, this is called Welcome to My World. This, I'm talking about, this is from my main channel, Welcome to My World. I might be posting this on three channels. Um, Welcome to My World. This, obviously, this is one of the videos going to be on as the main one. This is about this channel. What is this channel about? It's called Welcome to My World. It talks about the things that I see the way I see them, the way I feel about things. Then we have the main channel. Because YouTube still cannot figure out how to fix that problem with live streaming on it. We can't live stream on it. But that's okay. Because this isn't a live stream. This is a video. This can be copied over to that one. And stored and sent up to that one as well. So I will try to upload it to both channels. And lastly. Oh no. I'm going to send this out to Facebook. And I'm going to send this out to Daily Motion. And I'm going to put it out and make sure it's clearly stated from beginning, from day one. This is my opinions. These are how I feel. If you like them, 
that's fine. I don't have a problem. If you don't, but you understand that it's my opinion and want not, no arguments with me, that's fine too. But the minute you start trying to judge me and say nasty things about me and say horrible things that are not necessarily based on fact and rather I'll just go out there and basically attack me, that's when I'm going to grab my mace and that's when I'm going to bludgeon you over the skull. Period. I don't care if it sounds like World of Warcraft technology. The truth of the matter is, is I have to be willing to defend my right to say what I believe, okay? If you have your own opinion, that's fine. But if you want to have a dialogue, rest fame out of my garbage can. Hey! <laughs> I had chicken for dinner. The cat was looking for the chicken pieces. I ate them all! Come on! Yeah. He's in that corner. <laughs> yeah, no, he will. Oh, anyway. Um, so the point I'm trying to say, folks, is I don't want you to be mad at me. I don't want you to be upset with me. And let me take care of Mr. Cat. Get out of my garbage can. Come on. I already fed you dinner. All right. So, um, that's it for now. I just wanted to just explain why I, I just get a little bit upset about the different people complaining about my channel and all that. Please don't complain about my channel. It's a good channel. It really is. It is a good channel. But like everyone else on YouTube... The channel has to change. It has to adapt to survive, okay? December 10th is not that far away. It's already December 2nd. Tomorrow is December 3rd. Tomorrow's Bill Day. Am I going to be live streaming on, uh, after December 10th? Who knows? If I'll even have a channel after December 10th. I don't know. I don't see why not, but you know, YouTubers... Is, is planning something diabolically nasty. And uh, so I don't know how it's going to affect me or you or anyone else. I just want to be sure that we understand each other. Uh, uh, as a content creator, I do have very valid concerns about what's going on with YouTube and with my channel and, and with everything else in the world. And there's nothing I can tell you that's more disappointing or distressing than having people that are showing me total disrespect. And uh, that's one of the reasons I stream on multiple platforms. I'm not just a gamer. I'm a human being, too. And even if you don't like what I've got to say, I do have the right to say it. Um, some of you guys see you missed those old rants. Oh, well, fine. You got one. Anyway, take it with, take it with the green salt, guys, because it's true. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to edit this. I'm just going to send it out right here, just like this. So, you know, uh, uh, we have our live stream, of course, on Saturday. At one o'clock, we are going to have that. We are going to be having more gameplay. We're going to be having more discussions. Um, some days I need to say more than others, and uh, and that's what we're going to do. As long as I have a voice, as long as I have viewers, as long as I have a way to reach out to you, I'm going to speak up and tell you how I feel, and. Um, I just ask you to respect that I do respect you as well. Uh, but uh, just to say to the individual, I don't agree with some of your stuff you're teaching. It's not make me a bad person. Please do not judge me Bradley because of what I said. Because remember, even though this wasn't related to this, you think you do, but you don't. Okay? You don't. Remember what Jesus said. Judging ye shall be judged by the same measure. 
So I don't want to see anyone judge anybody. I just want to see everybody basically enjoy each other. Look, guys, the world is a big place. There's a lot of things in the world that are good and bad. Let's go out and have a good time. Let's, let's talk happy thoughts. Let's grow happy together. And let's, let's just enjoy each other's company. It would be so much better. All right, guys. Bye-bye.